is Nick with Logos by Nick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can take an object and turn it into gold using GIMP. And this was a tutorial I originally saw be done with uh, Photoshop. I'll put a link to it in the description if you want to check it out. I figured it would be pretty cool to show you how this could be done with GIMP as well. So uh, I'll go ahead and get started here with GIMP. If you'd like to follow along with this image as well, I'll put a link to this image in the description of the video. The first thing we want to do is just right click on our layer and make sure it has an alpha channel. So I'm going to click add alpha channel. And then I'm going to create a duplicate of that layer by clicking the button down here that says create a duplicate of the layer and add it to the image. And I'll turn off the visibility of the original layer beneath that just so we have a duplicate of the original on hand in case we need it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to colors and desaturate. And then I'll go ahead and click OK and it's going to make that all grayscale like that. And what I'll do is I'll duplicate that layer and then I'll go to colors, invert, and then I'll set the mode, the blends mode up here, I'll set that to uh, difference. And what I'll do now is I'll right click on that layer and go to merge down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to repeat that step one more time only with this image. I'm going to duplicate that layer. I'm going to go to colors, invert. And again, set the blend mode to difference and then right click it and go to merge down. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add some color to this image here. So I'll go to colors, colorize, and I'm going to up here where it says hue, I'm going to bring this to the left a little bit till it starts to turn like a goldish, like a yellowish gold color, maybe something like that right around 53. That looks pretty good. If you want, you could take the saturation and bump that up a bit as well, just to add some more color to it. So it pops a little more. And I'd say that's pretty good right there. I'll go ahead and click OK. And what I'll do now is I'll go to Colors and Levels. And I'll take this left arrow over here and bring that in a little bit. And if you pay attention to how the image changes when you do this, you could just get an idea of the change we're trying to make here. I just want to make this uh, I just want to give this a little bit of more like um, contrast so it, it pops a little more. You can adjust this slider as well. And you can toggle the preview off and on to see the difference there. There's a slight difference, but I think it's good enough. I'm going to leave that as it is, and I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And that pretty much does it for that. That's how you could take an object and turn it into a gold appearance like that. Now, if you want, you could take it and add a uh, like a gold backdrop behind it as well, which I'll, I'll show you how to do that. Uh, what I'll do first is I'm going to grab the magic wand tool or the fuzzy select tool and click on the white area of the image and just press delete on the keyboard to get rid of that. And let me zoom in by holding control and rolling up the mouse wheel. Let's go to select none and I want to get rid of all this extra area in here. You might not be able to see it um, on your screen but on my screen I see like there's this white like these artifacts left over. So I'm going to grab the eraser tool and I'm just going to get rid of that. And erase that out real quick. Uh, for cropping out the image, I just use the fuzzy select tool. I recommend using the the, uh, the paths tool and taking your time and going around and doing it right. Uh, I was just doing this pretty quickly for the, uh, the sake of keeping this tutorial relatively short. Um, okay, so once we've done that, what I'll do is I'll create a new layer. Click the button that says create a new layer and uh, go ahead and click OK. We're going to choose transparency. Go ahead and click OK. I'm going to fill that with black, so I'll go to uh, edit fill with foreground color and I'll just take that layer and bring it beneath the shoe layer and then I'm going to create another layer on top of that by clicking the new layer button we want again we want transparency and that's the layer we're going to put the uh, the gold glow uh, on so I'm going to click on the shoe layer right here I'll right click on that and go to alpha to selection I'll go to select grow I'm going to grow that by 15 pixels go ahead and click OK and then what I want to do is grab the the, um, the dropper tool, the color picker tool over here, and I want to choose a uh, a shade of yellow over here. You're going to notice it changes the foreground color uh, in your in your uh, menu over here. I'm just going to grab another selection. I don't like how that came out. You might want to grab a few different selections until you get one that you like. That I'll go with that right there. That's okay. Maybe something. You could even click on it and adjust it a little bit if you'd like. Like I'd like this to have a little more orange to it. Maybe something like that. That's pretty good. I'll go ahead and click OK. And then what I'll do is I'll click on this new layer that we created right beneath it and go to Edit, Fill with Foreground Color. Now we can go to Select, 
uh, select none. And we had like these extra artifacts in here. I'm just going to grab the eraser tool and get rid of that. And what I'll do now is I'll go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur. And I'm going to use uh, 250 pixels as a blur radius. So just go ahead and type that in 250. Go ahead and click OK. And there you have it. Uh, there's your glowing gold sneaker. Let me just bring the opacity of that down a little bit so it looks better. And that should pretty much do it for this tutorial. That's how you can create gold objects using GIMP. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.